one probe here to other here we have 42 nice hi my friends welcome again so this is a charger adapter for the hover a smart balance wheel this one guys here we have this failed hover that i want to repair but unfortunately the charger is charger is is failed so i go in first to repair the charger and then go ahead and continue repairing this smart balance oil so let's get started please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell icon for upcoming videos so guys i'm going to open this charger basically this is in the output of 42 volt dc 1500 milliamps okay so let's disassemble the charger and try to look in and check what is the problem because once i plug it this led is still always off it's no power so let's do it so this is my friends the, the adapter we opened i smell a little bit burned something is burned inside it my friends so let's check it out okay let's check the problem so basically here i have ecmd component resistors serum capacitor we have ic's okay so here in the input guys we have a fuse we have to check it we have the bridge rectifier here the capacitor the electrode capacitor for filtering here we have the ic oscillator here we have a diode transformer optocoupler okay here this is basically this is a Schottky diode this is not mosfet not ic do you see here guys I have D here, okay. Let me you see. I have D. This is diode, short key diode in the input for filtering, capacitor for filtering. Here we have uh, LED. This is resistor, and this is basically transistor. And we have the output. Okay, my friends, and the output. So we have I have nothing in the output okay guys the first thing to check here is the fuse do you see try to i don't know if you can see okay do you see guys here we have here f do you see f1 this one fuse we have to check it first let's check it using the multimeter and of course we're gonna select to continue to option let's check it my friends okay let me check first if this capacitor is charged we should first discharge the capacitor by doing like this okay okay the capacitor is discharged nice i can't touch it now no problem okay the multimeter my friends let's select the continuity option in the multimeter Okay, the continuity option. One probe here. Okay. The other probe here. At zero, the fuse is good. The fuse is good, my friend. Okay, the fuse is a good one. After that, guys, we have to check the bridge rectifier. The bridge rectifier. We have basically for the bridge rectifier, rectifier we have four terminals. Okay, four terminals. I will teach you how to check it. So, guys, please pay attention for the bridge rectifier. You see, guys, we have BD here means bridge diode. So here, this is minus Y. Because for minus, always we find this uh, edge like this. So here we have minus. So this, this pin here or terminal, this is minus. Okay. 
and hair will have plus. Always, guys, this edge here, okay, this edge like this is plus. Okay, here we have plus. Okay, so this terminal here is plus, and this one is minus. Okay, plus minus. How we can test this projectifier? Easy, my friends. Attention, please. Using the dial option, okay. If we use the dial option, always we put the red probe here. We put the red probe in the minus, okay. Okay, let's make it like this. The red probe, my friend, in minus terminal, like this. And we use the black probe like this. Between this terminal and this one here, we should get a ready. A drop voltage, about 500. <coughs> because we have a diode here. Also here, we should get 500. The same reading, do you see? Same reading, 490. For her, four hundred, four hundred ninety six. The same rating, and here, basically, if we get the same rating, this is good. If we get more, no problem. So the most important here, we should get the rating here and here. If we get a continuity like this, means we have a short. So this bridge rectifier is a good one. Okay, my friends. Nice. Now let's check this capacitor. We want we won't we will check one by one this capacitor. The capacitor basically for filtering. Let's locate the terminal capacitor. These two terminals easy using the continuity option. Guys, one probe here. Okay, let's see one probe here and the other here. We have charge and discharge, guys. If I swap the props like this, look, you see guys, okay, no short, means the capacitor, the capacitor is good, my friends. What we have else here? Guys, we have diode, okay, we have to check the diode, why? Because the diode here, this one can be shorted, this diode over here, so let's check it, these two, Terminals, so one probe here, okay, and the other probe in this side, we get 500, this is good, if we swap the probes, normally we should not get anything, but if we get something, normally because it is connected to the, to the board, nothing in the multimeter, good diode. Okay, so we check the fuse, good, we check the capacitor, the bridge rectifier, we check the diode. So, guys, we check the most important component in the input, fuse, bridge rectifier, capacitor, and the diode. Let's move on here and check the most important uh, component here in the back, based on that can be shown, like, for example, this one, the cell capacitor. Let's check cell capacitor. Okay, drop hair, other hair, no short, we have zener diodes, we have two zener diodes, this one, okay, let's make like this, guys, let's make like this, I hope that you see the board, okay, guys, this diode, okay, We get a no problem, no short. This one good ready, okay. For the same capacitor, good one, nice. Okay, we have another capacitor here, nice. Capacitor here, another here, in the output, resistor. I have zero in this resistor, but this is current sense resistor, it's normal, normal reading. We have a diode, guys, let's check this diode here. Okay, diode, diode here, 
in the input let's check it also good nice so let's move on here to the output what we have here okay we have this capacitor we have led we have this resistor the transformer uh, I guess this transformer seems to be not good guys I check all components using visual inspection the multimeter all components guys seems to be good okay in this side ACMD component and also this component here in the input also in the input means the problem my friend could be in this LED because I didn't get the no light here for this LED but let's do a smart step let's connect the adapter okay let's assemble right now the adapter like this okay my friend let's do it like this okay okay i will plug it and check here check the output i should find 42 volts so let me plug the adapter it's plugged right now okay so guys here for this kind of adapter zoom a little bit okay like this so for the okay the good here guys here do you see this this edge here do you see this edge here guys this is plus and minus this two this one here is not used it's basically for ground but not used here because we have just two two cables so plus and minus so let's choose in the multimeter 20 volt dc or 200 volt dc not 20 but 200 volt dc like this okay so let's put first the red probe here okay my friend in the side and put the black probe here as you can see my friend in the multimeter okay because we have minus the red probe should be here nice and then the black probe here we have 43 nicely done guys okay nice tip okay my friends i will show you the adapter so we have here 43 okay but the adapter is off i will show you do you see the adapter is plugged but the led is off but we have the voltage in the output okay but we get the voltage in the output so let's do it again one probe here the other here we have 42 nice thank you guys i hope that you understand this video please don't forget to subscribe like and hit the bell icon and for anyone who want to accelerate learning you can join me in my patreon page and guys Thank you very much. See you in the next video.